Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. We were expecting a busy week and on Monday, Monday morning, already pieces of news I'm coming out about Arsenal. A second bid has officially been made for Julian Timber. Kai Havertz has completed his medical and also the latest on Romeo Lavia. Will he be um, our second midfield signing or will we be going for someone else a lot of news to get to already and let's start to julian timber according to reports from fabrizio romano arsenal are getting closer to signing julian timber after second official bid submitted today understand value of the second proposal is close to 45 to 48 million euros um contract ready and agreed until 2028 as timber has been clear he loves arsenal project and wants to join them so very very quickly we've um we've uh, submitted the second bid as expected um the player already wants to join arsenal you um, posting some cryptic messages on Instagram. I had quoting Gun and everything. He wants to be a gun or whatever. We know the likes of Mudrik did the same thing, but um, this is different. Um, this is definitely different. This one I definitely expect him to be our second signing very, very soon. Um, we've already talked about how beneficial it's going to be in our team, and it's looking very likely that Ajax are going to accept that bid. It's um, it, it would be a surprise if they um denied that bid or uh, rejected that bid. It would be a huge surprise. Remember yesterday, uh, yesterday night we talked about um what Mike um from um, Netherlands said. Um, Julian Timbers reached a verbal agreement with Arsenal on a contract until 2028, so that was uh, pretty much accurate. And um many from many journalists already, it's expected that um he will be joining us as soon as this week. Also, this um by um Graham Bailey talking about um where Julian Timber will be playing for us next season. Uh, we already know that so it's going to be like a like a saliba, a saliba role of the Ben White role, usually um as an inverted um fullback if he plays at right back. But um what what about in terms of the um wages? So according to Sammy Mockbell, Mail Sport understands that Julian Timber will earn a minimum of ninety thousand per week at Arsenal, which is not bad at all. Um with achievable add-ons that will push his wage closer to 120k per week. Those terms will be formally agreed once Arsenal and Ajax reach an agreement of a transfer fee. I think they'll reach an agreement to that 45 to 48 million, with the move expected to be wrapped up quickly once the two clubs strike a deal. So the moment um, Ajax accepted, personal terms already been agreed. Um, they already agreed how much is going to be paid per week and all the bonuses. It's, it's just going to be a matter of him doing the medical and signing the deal and becoming our second signing of the transfer window. I'm glad that one is going to be uh, done very, very quickly on our second bid. Usually it takes um, longer than that. And usually players like this, we don't sign them this early in the transfer window, but the last two transfer windows, it's been different. Last year, we got Jesus, the likes of Zinchenko and Fabio Villar very early. And this time, it looks like we're going to get three signings by the end um, of the month, which is um, which is great because uh, uh, we only like um, two weeks into the transfer window, less than two weeks actually. It's like um, 12 days into the transfer window and uh, we're already making moves very, very quickly. So Julian Timber, second official bid made. He's expected to join Arsenal. Um, Parcel terms are great. 90k per week could rise to 120k a week. The player wants to join Arsenal. Uh, different from uh, West Ham, the Ajax fans are actually saying, you know what, I think he would fit perfectly at Arsenal. Uh, unlike the West Ham fans who don't want Declan Rice to join um, Arsenal. For Ajax fans, they feel like um, he's going to fit in at Arsenal perfectly. So thank you, Ajax, for Julian Timber. Um, the other signing that is expected to be announced this week is um, Kai Havertz. He's already um, completed his medical. According to Fabrizio, Kai Havertz has already completed first part of the medical test as new Arsenal player, just waiting for the contracts to be signed on club side. Deal from Chelsea will be completed this week. This was very early in the morning. Fabrizio confirming that Harvard has um, completed his medical. Obviously, um, a couple of days ago, he got the pictures of um, the Arsenal doctor at the airport heading to Spain to do the medicals. I think that is um, that is where that that was the other, other arrangement. I actually just thought about it because um, last week we were like, I mean, can't Harvard just come to England and do the medical? Does the doctor have to go there? No, they actually had a plan. There was a Kepa um, wedding over there, so they are preparing, um, they are planning for that, so he couldn't really fly to England. That is why the Arsenal doctor had to go to Spain to do the medical there. So it now makes sense. It now definitely makes sense. He had other plans. I was like, what other plans? It's just It's just a holiday. You can um, like uh, postpone your holiday for one day and just come for the medical and go for holiday. But no, it was a wedding, so he had to go for that. So um, that was early in the morning from Fabrizio. But it seems like the medical is done. According to Essa Collins, Kai Havertz underwent his medical um, in Spain over the weekend, and the club were on Monday finalizing a move that could be completed in the next 24 hours. So it seems like um, the second part of the medical um, has already been done, or if it hasn't been done, 
it's going to be done like uh, right now as we speak. Maybe they're getting it done uh, right now as we speak because um, I think the wedding was yesterday. So maybe today gets more time to complete um, the move. So Kai Havertz will officially be our first signing. I would expect Arsenal to announce it this week. And then for Julian Timber as well, I would expect the deal to be agreed this week and maybe for them to announce it this week. So Kai Havertz, I'm close to saying I'm welcome to Arsenal. So let's see how that one works out. Um, a lot of um, negative... Um, responses um to this um signing but um <clears throat> Atita was never his manager so let's see how it works out for him what about Declan Rice what's the latest on um Declan Rice so according to Sami uh, Markbell once again he says um Arsenal are locked in talks with West Ham of a move for their number one transfer target target um Declan Rice um Arsenal start offer will be closer to the 100 million West Ham are looking for uh but uh Rice is keen to join Arsenal despite interest from Manchester City. Yeah, uh, we know that already. Um, it's just about the bid. Um, maybe they're finalizing that their, their final final bid. I don't think that they want to go to the fourth bid, so they're trying to make the, the third bid uh, perfect. I would expect it to be yeah, closer to 100 million, not necessarily 100 million, since now Man City are not going to make the bid since um, what Rice has already chosen Arsenal. I would expect, um, I would expect Arsenal to go to 100 million straight away, but if they do, um, boost our chances of getting the player. Uh, it, it maybe he's overpriced, but I don't think he's um, overrated and it would be an absolute, um, like, great result if you can get a great signing, if you can get Declan Rice from West Ham, a, a player who was wanted by Chelsea, a player that was wanted by Man United, a player that was wanted by Man City. It would be absolutely amazing. And Man City, actually beating Man City to a player, that would be a uh, boost our confidence in terms of our transfer market. And that obviously could be our third signing. Are we also close to making our fourth signing now? The Romeo Lavia one, I was a bit... Um, if if you're not sure if Arsenal are really going in for him, or we have other midfield targets um in mind, but according to reports from today, it seems that way actually. So um understand Liverpool asked conditions of Romeo Lavia deal. They're in the race. Uh, um Arsenal working on this deal for 15 days. No official bid from both clubs yet. Man United and Chelsea monitoring the situation, but not in active talks yet. So that is um in terms of um Romeo Lavia, Liverpool one team. Um Man United and Chelsea monitoring the situation. But the funny thing is, I say I did not expect Romeo Lava to join. Uh, I don't expect us to be like the favorites to sign him, especially after signing the three other players. I think maybe we have other midfield options in mind. But funny enough, last week, um, according to Fabrizio Romano last week, Arsenal were advancing in talks to sign Romeo Lavia. Negotiations ongoing with Southampton and players come. Still no official bid. Southampton hope for their record fee for under 21 player. My United interested, but priority is Mount Chelsea keeping close eyes. So, I mean, this is going to be a tough one because I don't think we're the only team that wants him and I don't think we are 100% serious on him. But according to Fabrizio a few days ago, we were advancing in terms of negotiating for um, Romeo Lavia. So... That is um that is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, we have to wait and see. That one I'm not going to say I'm 92 percent confident he's going to join Arsenal. Like I've been saying with Declan Rice, that one is um slightly different. But there's always a chance I could end up being Arsenal's fourth signing of the transfer window. So that's the latest on um the four players that have been talked about a lot in this transfer window: Declan Rice, um, Kai Havertz, um, Julian Tim, and also um Romeo Lavia. In the next one, we'll be touching on on a couple of other players who uh, we've been linked to, and that there's been a bit of news on them but um let me know what you think of that and um final points before i go uh i end this one i mentioned other midfielders yesterday remember i talked about milinkovic savage could he be the extra midfielder yesterday it was reported by cross sport um Arsenal are weighing up a move for Serge milinkovic savage who is currently valued at 40 million as he only has one year left on his contract um he's a, he's a could be a priority in quotes if they lose Thomas Party. So, one to keep an eye on. Um, Milinkovic Savic could be uh, that midfielder. We've not really been um, targeted to many midfielders. Uh, we've had a bit of uh, about Zubi Mendy, um, Lavia, Milinkovic Savic, um, also Declan Rice and Caicedo seems to be going to either Man United or Chelsea. So, I think um, just like the Julian Timber news coming out, I think we're going to get a couple of uh, midfielders just like that. Like from nowhere, we'll hear Arsenal want this player from Aston Villa. Arsenal are close to signing this player from PSV. Or Arsenal are close to signing this player from Barcelona. Whichever way it's going to be, I think we're def we, we definitely will be going for other midfielders. Or maybe we'll be going for one or not two or three. Maybe if Jacques and Pate end up staying. Because still, Jacques and Pate have not, uh, not yet gone. Especially Jacques, I think we're waiting to get our midfielders through the door first before letting Jacques go. I think when if um, Declan Rice signs immediately, 
I think we'll allow Xhaka to go. So that will be an interesting one. But that's the latest. Let me know what you think of that. We will be back next, very, very soon with another video. A lot to talk about. Big week for Arsenal. Let's get those two deals done. Plus, have us three signings before the end of June. 13 days before the preseason starts. That puts us in a very, very good position. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.